All right, hi, I'm Madeline Seward. I teach at Collins High School. Um, we um, were looking at the flipped and blended um, aspect of the questions, and um, she brought up first a uh, teacher out south side whose name is Mackenzie Hunter, um, has been recording her, her projects that she's built. Uh, she just records her hand as she's folding paper and painting and doing stuff like that, and then when she's teaching it to the whole class, she's able to project what she's done after the small group instruction. So she's got, as she said, she was able to like split herself in half. And she's up here and she's out there. Um, and then that led into something that I'm working on this year with it. Uh, kind of flipped, kind of blended uh, self-paced classroom with my Algebra 2 students where they're able to move at their own pace. Um, one student who I didn't realize wasn't didn't do well on standardized tests before, um, is now about three weeks ahead of what I had anticipated the whole class to be, and he's literally getting hundreds on everything. He's doing <coughs> awesome. Um, and then there is another student on the lower end that struggles and in, in isn't very confident with their math ability, and she said, I did my homework <coughs> last night. All right, good, thank you. Um, and she said, but I, I did it right even. And I was like, good, again? And she said, I was able to watch you, your video at home, and I really know how to do it now. And I, and I like seeing that it's, it's affecting the highs, but we're also pulling the lows up. Generic outline of what it looks like is um, I've recorded all of the lessons for each learning target um, generically. They would um, see their learning target, they'd watch a video, and then they'd do an activity, whether it's a, a matching game, whether it's a scavenger hunt, practice problems, whatever. Um, so um, maybe one, one student is watching a video for learning chart 4A and the next student right next to him is already on 5, 4B and they're taking their quiz and it's, it's chaos but it's good chaos. Um, I usually leave thinking, did I breathe today? Because I, I mean, I'm helping her with um, one learning target and then somebody says, wait, I didn't understand how you, what you did on this video. Um, we explain this part again and so I'll, I might help you with, with the video and this person with an activity and then I've got people out in the hallway because they just want to, they want their own quiet corner to work in and then I've got other people that are sharing computers and they're like, okay, she did this in this part of the video but then here it was different and it's, one thing I was worried about was that um, they were going to lose that collaborative time because I'm, they're just watching a video and I was thinking this, they're going to lose that um, aspect of the discourse and um, Ms. Fleming who's been helping me a ton with this said just you know just watch it and see what happens and they're getting ten times more discourse out of it than they were before. That mindset and that heart of leadership innovation is already being cultivated and manifest in our district. There are so many examples of it. What we are continuing to look for are systems where it is happening all the time, where it is happening regularly. And we only got through about half of our list because we kept coming up with story after story after story. But it is happening in this district and it is very real and we're really, really excited about it. 